Y'all have to forgive me. I know I just did a video yesterday and mentioned uh, the uh, Indiana mall shooting. But I have seen a few things today and read a few things today that are absolutely disgusting. You know, it appears that um, when the left gets their narrative blown up, well, they get all kind of butt hurt. There's a whole, well, I won't say there's a whole bunch, but there's a few of them on there that carrying on about how he shouldn't have had, talking about Elijah Dickens, that he shouldn't have had a gun in the mall. Look, to the left, your fantasy, your narrative was, your, was blown up. We see through it all, it's not going to work. Gun-free zones are a joke, a sick, sad joke, in which good people are rendered helpless, and helpless and weak people never deter evil, ever. Only strength does. You got to stomp it out, stamp it out, stomp it out, destroy it when you see it. I'd like to once again thank Elijah Dickens. I'm going to put his name in the headline on this because I would, I wish there was some way in the world that the man would, you know, would see the video. Just to, I want him to know that there are millions of us. For every one of those idiots you're seeing on TV and those little left-wing pundits who can't stand, they're all tore up because you destroyed their their BS narrative. But you know there's millions of the rest of us who think ourselves a little bit more sane who would love to shake your hand, buy you, buy you a hamburger, buy you a drink. Elijah Dickens, once again, thanks. And ignore the idiots. Watch you back, but ignore the idiots. And I'm going to tell you right now, you got a lot of, there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of people who support you. You got more friends than you realize, brother. Good job.